Hello. So I'm going to be making the Lamb Rogue and Josh tea tonight. It is a Slimming World recipe, it's from the Fake Away book. I've just checked and I think, I think we might have all the ingredients. Um, but we'll see, we usually find out along the way that we don't have all the ingredients. Okay, this is the book, the Slimming World Fake Away book. I got it when I was a member of a group quite a while ago. And the recipe for Lamb Rogue and Josh is on page 76 so we've got lots and lots and lots of ingredients so i will be surprised if we end up having all of them in fact i'm already looking at this i can tell you now i do not have any coriander but that's okay so we're not massive fans of coriander and the recipe's just there it says it's got a two hour time for it to be ready and this is what we're hoping it's going to look like just had another look as well and i'm not going to be putting swede in <laughs> Um, we don't have any sweet, so. Okay, so we've got all the ingredients. So we've got sweetener, chopped tomatoes, root ginger, some carrots, garlic, onions, cardamom pods, chili powder, paprika, cinnamon sticks, curry powder, and then we've got the diced lamb as well. Now I'm actually going to be making some samosas from the Pinch of Non book as well to go with this dish, but I'll do this after. Okay, so we cooked the lamb um, and I've just chopped up the onion and put the onion in and that's just been cooking and now I'm going to add the ginger and the garlic. And now the spices are going to go in. So we need a teaspoon and our tablespoon of ginger. So I've just got my measuring spoons. And we need to add in the cinnamon, which is cinnamon sticks. It says to add in two cinnamon sticks, I've only got one cinnamon stick. So I hope that can go in, wants to come out. And we also need chilli powder, just two teaspoons of chilli powder. Now it's the hot chilli powder, so I'm probably just going to put one in. I'll do one in a bit. And the paprika, which was two teaspoons of paprika. One, two. Um, and it says the cardamom seeds go in as well. So cardamom seeds, one teaspoon of cardamom pods. Never used these before, so. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. I think four is about a teaspoon. And cook for two minutes and then add the curry powder and then return the lamb. So we need curry powder, it's four tablespoons of curry powder. Let's give that a stir. Building up some flavour before I put the tomatoes in. Okay, that'll do. And then the curry powder. Let's hope I've got enough curry powder. Four tablespoons. Yep, it says four tablespoons. Okay, so. I think, great. out. Four, okay. And then return the lamb. So I took the lamb out before, so it's going back in. Just give that a bit of a mix up, all those flavours. It smells nice. Okay. Just cook for two to three minutes 
And then stir in the tomatoes, the sweetener, the lamb stock, the carrots and the swede. Then season, bring to the boil and then reduce and then simmer with a lid on for one and a half hours. It's alright, I'll have time to make my samosas then. this is what it's looking at like now um, it said to put in 600 mils of lamb stock which I have done it seems to be quite a lot but then I've just realized that the recipe doesn't tell you to cover it while it's cooking so I'm guessing some of the liquid will evaporate in the hour and a half that it's going to be on the heat so while that's cooking I'm going to do the samosas from the pinch of non book so I'm going to get my ingredients ready and then I can start filming that and obviously I'll show you what this turns out like. It does smell really good. It smells like a curry you'd get from the takeaway, so that's a good sign. Okay, so I'm going to be making a recipe from the Pinch of Non book, this copy, and it's on page 224, making the samosas. So this is what we're hoping they're going to turn out like. So I've just had a look through and I think I've got all of the ingredients that I need. I've got plenty of time as the curry that I'm making is now simmering for an hour and a half got plenty of time to make this recipe so we've got all the ingredients I'm using the Warburton's gluten-free white wraps I don't know if they're going to work but I'm wheat intolerant so I can't use regular tortilla, wrap, oh, tortilla wraps yeah <laughs> um, I need an egg so I've got my eggs there so I've got chili powder ground cumin ground coriander garam masala turmeric lemon juice uh, it said one onion but I've only got these two tiny little onions uh, similarly with the garlic, he said he needed a, some garlic, one garlic clove, but I've got these two small ones. Some root ginger, some potatoes, and 30 grams of spinach. Oh, I have no idea what size this bag of spinach is. Oh, there we go. 240 grams, so I'm not going to use all of that, so I'm going to have to find another recipe to use to use up the spinach. Okay, so it's getting pretty warm in here. Um, I've got my curry bubbling away. I need to turn that down a bit actually. And then I've just got onions, um, ginger and garlic in the pan ready for the insides of my spouses and my peas are just draining. Over here I've got my parchment paper ready to go. I've got my potatoes, my spinach is ready to go in and I've got all my spices over there. So it says to cook these for a uh, couple of minutes and then add in all the spices then add in the spinach then the peas then the potatoes mash it all up and then you can start construction of your samosas so i think that's the bit that's going to be the hardest bit we'll give it a try Okay, so we're going to try and put together these samosas now and um, hopefully they'll turn out well. I'm going to follow the instructions as best I can, but I can't promise they're going to look anything like the picture. So, if I put you down, it says you need to get your wraps and cut them in half. So, I'll we'll start off with just one. So let's see this. I'm just going to cut one of these wraps in half. Dog. Here's some dog. Um, so like I said before, these are the gluten-free, Warburton's gluten-free ones. They'll either be good ones to recommend 
or not. I'm not sure. So you get one out for that. And it says cut it in half. Okay, done. Divide the filling equally between the wraps and be careful not to overfill them. You do not, not want to not be able to seal them. So brush the edges of the half wrap with beaten egg. Okay, so I need to beat an egg. I've learnt from last time, don't crack an egg on video because I cannot do that. So I've got my egg in here. Brush the edges of the half, half wrap with beaten egg. Fold each half into a cone shape and seal, leaving the top open and then add the filling. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be like this. So yeah, we're going to seal that side first. Let's give this a go. Brush. I've already forgotten which bit I'm doing. Oh yeah, that bit. There we go. So if I just go the whole way along, hopefully it will be sticky enough to stay shut. So let's fold it like that. Seal the edge, leaving the top open, and add the filling. Divide the filling equally. Okay. Brush the open egg with some more, the open egg, brush the open end with some more egg and leave for 40 seconds until it becomes tacky then press the edges together. You can use a fork to do this but do not rip the wrap. Arrange the smokes on the tray. Okay, so, got some spinach in there already. So I've got my cone shape and now I need to get my filling. Over there a second got my filling here. I'm going to put the filling inside and hope that, oh no see it's already started opening. I'm going to tip it that way while I do it. Do not overfill. Right, it might be overfilled. It always takes a while I suppose. Okay so yeah it's definitely overfilled. Squash it in. And then we've got to stick these sides together. And it says you can press it with a button. Now I can see this is already breaking open, so I'm gonna get some of that out. You can always eat the filling on its own, I suppose. Right. <laughs> Use your own technique if you're making these, because this is not going well so far. Right, so add the egg and leave until it goes a bit tacky. loads of egg on it. Okay. Just lots. <laughs> and then hold it. So I'm gonna hold it short. Let's just check what oh, edge is coming over now. Surely there's a device you could use to do this. A bit better than how I'm doing it. Well, I'm sure even if it doesn't turn out completely right, they'll still taste nice because it smells amazing. Okay, and then carefully I'm going to, oh, actually that's not too bad. Hey, right, I'm gonna put that on greaseproof paper and do another one. Let's try another one on camera, see if this one works better. So put the egg on the edge. I'm gonna make it into a cone. Lots of egg. Egg everywhere. Again. <laughs> right, let's close that bit. Why do I feel like the high percentage of this video is just going to be me making these samosas? Okay, and then put the filling in. to squash it in again. Okay, this one's a bit more stuck down at the side, so that's good. Put the egg in. Put that on the top as well. 
leave for a minute to go tacky. Yes, it's like a mess everywhere. And then squash down. Squash down. Oh, no, I've definitely overfilled this one. It says. Ah, we said it did say to leave the egg for 30 to 40 seconds to make sure it's gone tacky, but. Thirty to forty seconds. Takeaways on soon. Yeah, this one's burst open a little bit, but never mind. It will still taste good. Let's put that one in there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make the rest of these and probably more mess now. One thing that we always use whenever we have rice uh, is peel our rice seasoning. Um, it really does work. You just put a little bit in the water with your rice while it's boiling, and it just tastes exactly like peel our rice but it's obviously a lot healthier because it's just a herb there's no oils or anything involved so i've used a little bit of that as well on the rice okay this is a final product for someone who's not very confident with cooking i've got to say i am quite proud even the samosas have turned out really well so i'm going to tuck in now with my fake away and watch saturday night takeaway mm -hmm.